hello i know i know you've been asking where I, have i been all this while i know i've been around um i created a content and it was not good enough for me to upload so i decided not, not to upload the video okay so i need all the encouragement because i mean vlogging is not my thing my thing is sitting down and talking um i tried to vlog i wanted to upload the video last week but it wasn't good i just said you know what let me just respect myself <laughs> so i didn't create i didn't upload that video last week and then this week um a lot of things happened on monday between monday and now the announcement that went out um was all over social media um canada is now towing the line of the uk and i talked about it if you watch one of my videos that i did last year i talked about this that it was going to happen i said I, I i mentioned the circumstances around why canada is considering curbing uh limiting the number of visas they will give to international students and it has happened finally the announcement has been made i didn't want to just come to talk about it because some things were not clear between when the announcement was made and when and today some changes have been made so with this announcement it's gonna be tough i mean 360,000 visas for 2024 it means that your application has to be very good if you intend to come to canada as a student it means you have to be very very good with your application not only that it means you have to at least pay your tuition in full i mean canada is smart they don't want people who will come and start complaining that they don't have money so what they will do is this they will consider people who have paid their tuition in full over people who have not paid their tuition in full so for people coming for four, four years program like undergraduate studies at least pay your one year tuition your first year tuition in full for people coming for postgraduate studies at least pay your tuition in full if you're coming for a two years program pay your first year tuition in full if you're coming for a one year program pay your tuition in full in addition to that if you have access if your country has access to sending money through gic into canada gic if you don't know what it means it is guaranteed investment certificate it's like a fixed deposit so for those of us in nigeria or my people in nigeria if you know what it means what what fixed deposit is in nigeria that's what gic means in canada so if you have the opportunity of sending money through gic go ahead and do so because the people who pay their tuition in full the people who are able to send money to to a gic account in canada are the people that they will consider for study visas you remember it is just three hundred sixty thousand visas that will be issued this year so it means it's only people who they know will be serious with their studies i mean nobody will pay their tuition in full and then come to canada and say they don't want to study although there are some people who will come and change their mind about studying in canada and try to look for work and switch from study visas to work permit so people will still come and claim asylum so people would and all of that there are so many things around the study visas which they are trying to call but then it is only people who have demonstrated capacity of paying their tuition in full and have demonstrated capacity of sending money into a gic account are the people that will be considered for study visas that being said study visa is not the only route to canada i have been saying this thing before i have said it before in one video that i created that if you're a business person you have no business coming to study in canada i'm saying it again if you're a business person you have no business coming to study in canada come and start your business in canada there are over 80 immigration routes to canada if the government of canada says they want to cap study visas it does not mean they are going to cap other immigration pathways the economic immigration pathway for 20 2024 um, that will lead to PR is about 450,000 and truth is that some people are already on their way to get gaining their PR and while some people who are outside Canada will also gain their PR some people will say it is difficult getting PR from outside Canada there are in other immigration options express entry is not the only immigration option to Canada provincial nomination is not the only immigration to Canada right there are other immigration pathways there are other hidden pathways like hidden pathways that you can use to come to canada either temporary or permanent that you can use and enter canada not just the study route a lot of people are focusing on the study route because it's the fastest 
the other pathways they take their time like if you're looking for a job if you're looking for maybe work under the rnip or aip pathway you have to take your time to look for work in those provinces and they take time so getting a job offer takes time before you now do all of that and then apply for your pr get your work permit to come to canada you might be counting one year two years because the study route is the shortest route, people just want to use it as a means of entering Canada first and they figure their pathway to becoming permanent residents while in Canada. So uh, the longer shot of this video is that there are over 80 immigration pathways. And if you go through my content that I've done over the years, um, I've actually broken down a lot of immigration pathways in my videos. But if you want me to redo these videos again based on current trends please let me know in the comment section i will do that and of course it is your <laughs> it is you that said i should continue with immigration content and mix it up with personal lifestyle i did personal lifestyle last weekend it was not good i treat the way <laughs> i'm back with immigration now because i'm standing in one place to talk about immigration anyway so if you want me to talk about all the immigration pathways that you can use to come to Canada, please let me know in the comment section. And I'm also thinking, instead of Canada, Canada is not the only country you can immigrate to, especially those who are interested in just getting out of Nigeria, right? Or getting out of Africa. Um, there are several countries you can immigrate to. There is Japan, although there is language barrier, but then if you can learn language. That reminds me, for people who say French is even hard to learn, if as long as you, you can live your comfort zone to countries like south korea brazil mexico um netherlands finland sweden france where they don't even speak english why do you think french is difficult to learn french is not difficult to learn if you put your mind to it and you apply yourself you'll be able to learn french so that being said there are other countries you can immigrate to france is there i don't know france is there netherlands is there <laughs> germany is there you know switzerland is there um the united states of america is there although u.s immigration is very difficult to get but there are some other hidden pathways japan is there south korea is there so there are lots of countries you can Im immigrate to and i am thinking of expanding or exploring beyond canada let me not just rely on canada alone i know a lot of people try to come to canada but because of this stringent rules they get discouraged they move to other countries so if you're interested in exploring immigration to other countries like new zealand australia japan south korea netherlands germany if you're interested that i create content about these countries so that we don't limit ourselves to canada alone please let me know and it's also my intention to also travel to all these countries as well you know it's my intention to do that um, of course, you know, with my Canadian passport. Let me show you my Canadian passport. Okay, so, yay! So here's my Canadian passport. You, anybody that knows me, know that I don't really flaunt these things. I'm not, I'm not, um, what do you call it now? Um, I'm not a show-off person. I don't show off things like this. I mean, anyway, so if you feel I should talk about immigration to other countries, um, that can benefit people and the cost and all of that please let me know in the comment section so that i create content around these areas as well so thank you so much for watching and please encourage me concerning content around my life um I, like i said i created one it was not good i had to abandon it because i wanted to alternate between lifestyle and immigration so the first video i did was to talk about the year and then my plan was to do um a lifestyle content which i did a vlog and some things and the video didn't turn out well probably the way i held my camera and everything was not just going on fine i just abandoned it then now i am back to immigration so today's video is immigration the next video that i will create will be about my life um thank you for sticking with me and if you're new to this channel if i didn't introduce myself my name is wolo i am a regulated canadian immigration consultant i am based in manitoba canada i talk about life in canada and everything in canada but i am thinking of tilting towards talking about life in general and immigration to any country 
so if you're interested please let me know in the comment section thank you so much for sticking with me throughout this video and please give me the like button see you in my next video bye bye